Hi, this is Anaya, and I want to talk to you about resonance and some tools that you can use to help you tune into specific frequencies, specific vibrations. Now, this discussion takes us back to ancient Egypt, and it takes us into the uh, Napoleonic adventures into Egypt, and a group of scientists called the French Radiesthesiists. And what the French radiesthesiists did is they were looking at relics, artifacts, in the tombs of the Egyptians. And they were noticing these different instruments made of different types of materials. This is a modern pendulum. But you see different pendulums, or what the Egyptologists would call papyri scepters. And what the French radiesthesiists were doing was looking at these and comparing the angles between the tip of the pendulum and the corners of the pendulum. And what they realized is that these angles had specific correspondences to different frequencies. So to make their job easier, they made something called a virtual cone pendulum. And the virtual cone pendulums they made were made of wood. <clears throat> here is one that's made of acrylic. And if you can see here, there are different areas. This is a white band, ultraviolet, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, going down to infrared, black, and this G minus band, which is also at the very top of the pendulum. And they, the French radiesthesias, found out that by taking a rod and a disc and establishing different angular relationships between the tip and the side of this disc, that they could measure correspondences, resonances, to different colors. And these colors here are laid out, red, orange, etc., just like the colors of the chakras, or the colors in the electromagnetic spectrum, for instance. So how you use this tool, and it does take you a couple of days to really get used to it, I'm going to set it to red. And it's set to red, and I've learned where to hold this virtual cone pendulum. And it's set to red, and I'm going to hold a green ball, and I'm just going to swing the pendulum forward and backwards. I'm not moving my hand. There's no sleight of hand here. And you have a very frontwards and backwards type swing. There's no rotation that's going on in the pendulum. It's set to red and I'm looking at a green ball. Now if I change this out, <clears throat> I'm going to start the forward swing again. I'm looking at red, and what happens is because I'm picking up a resonance to red, I'm creating a system through what I see, through my mind, through my hand, and again I am not swinging my fingers around, but the system in the virtual cone pendulum is picking up on the fact that I am resonating with the color red. And it demonstrates this by putting a circular motion to the virtual cone pendulum. So if I now reset the virtual cone pendulum to green, I'm just going to start it in a neutral swing. I'm going to hold the red ball. There is no lateral circular motion. And now I'm going to hold the green ball, and as soon as I do that, I think it feel a change inside of my mind, and indeed, I start to pick a rotation of the virtual cone pendulum. So this is a tool that you can use to measure resonances, to tune into different vibrations, and there's a lot more detail of what you can get into measuring with this virtual cone pendulum. You can find these online as well.